Hallelujah. What up, you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five juggling tricks with tree clubs. Now, it's not so much a, like I thought about this for a long time. Like, what are my actual favorite tricks? Like, so we're talking about patterns, the thing that you can repeat and is like the same on both, both sides and stuff. So there's, I, there's a lot of sequences that I love, like a lot of tricks, the throwing into the balance. There's not really a patterns, like you can do these four to three patterns, but to me, they're not so interesting. And also these like sequences that I do, this wrist trapping kind of stuff. I love these kind of things. Um, there's club hitting, stuff like that. I, I like them a lot. I use them all the time, but I was thinking, what are the actual like patterns that I really love with five, with three clubs? I got you a top five, okay? <laughs> now this may change during a time. If you like ask me again, like in after a few months, it may be different. But right now, when I was thinking like, what are my top five patterns? Now there's one pattern that's like, it's really super cool. I just want to give it like an honorable mention because I think it's so awesome. This. Oi, come on. Oh. <laughs> Let me do it again. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> so I think that's super, super cool, but it is like, it's a hassle to do for me. So I wouldn't put it on my top five. I'm gonna show you the top five that I really like. Okay, and we're gonna start with the super simple one, lazies, right? So I, this is like one of my top five. I will put this on the number five, all right? There you go. <laughs> so the next one would also be, I don't know, this is something about lazies that I really like. I, it's, to me, it looks really, really good. It's super fun to do. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like, like when you see my top two, it's like my number two is not a trick that I don't even do on stage anymore, really. But it's just, I really love it. It's been in my repertoire for 20 years. But uh, let me just show you. So number four, we got these flat front flats, okay? Now, there's a lot of names for this trick. Uh, just to clarify, like, it's not this. Like, this is a different trick. Okay, this is sort of like a reverse throw, like a reverse cascade kind of thing. And it's not like, I like it to keep it short, the club stays. So this is the trick that I'm referring to. <laughs> I know that some people say that, no, oh, it's called this trick, it's called that trick. I don't know if there's a name. We call it flat front, flat front flats because you're throwing a flat front and you're throwing it as a flat. All right, so that's where the name comes from. All right, let's go for the number three, back crosses. It's just, it's a classic, it's all time favorite, okay? It just has to be on the top five, like at least for me, there's no question about it. I've been doing so many back cross variations with three, four, five, it just, it, it's a super move, all right? <laughs> I love it. And number four, uh, sorry, number one, number two. Yeah, five, four, three, two. So number two, this is a, like I said, super old one. I used to do a lot. I don't really do it anymore, but I just really like this. Now this is a pattern that I, I guess I learned it like in 2000, oh, learned it like in the year 2000. It was like 20 years ago. It's just so freaking awesome. I don't know, it, it's a high-low pattern. Like it's this. So it's a five, two, two, or like, uh, no, it's not a five, two, it's some side swap. <laughs> um, but it's a high-low pattern, so we throw synchronized for high throw and a low throw, okay? And the high goes cross and the low stays. And then we just put that under the leg. And I don't know, that's something about it, I guess. Being, as a young kid, being a dirty little boy, you love that. You got like, uh, 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 
don't know. <laughs> Could be something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I really like that one. It's, I don't do it as a trick so much anymore. Like if I do some sequence, I might do just like, just once and then continue into something else. That's how I would use it nowadays. But it just is, it's one of my favorite patterns of all time. And number one, my favorite pattern with tree clubs, my favorite like trick with tree clubs that I like to do is the head stalls. So this is a 4-2-3 with this head stall and stuff. You can add one of those thumb rolls and a drop. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> so let me do the thumb roll version for you. It's all about the timing. Like that. Ooh, had a fail. Anyways, <laughs> those are, at least for now, what I consider to be my top five juggling tricks with tree clubs. And keep in mind, this is not like the hardest tricks that I can do. This is the tricks that I like to do, right? So for me, these are like what I like to do, my top five tree club juggling tricks. Cool, that's it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.